This is a Mazda 5. This car is in the shop because it has a coolant leak. The owner reported that coolant is forming a puddle right in the middle of the car under the engine. So we checked it out and the coolant is dripping off the bell housing right where it bolts into the engine block. So to us this means that the coolant is leaking out of the engine out of this area right above the transmission and then just dripping down the transmission. So we're going to dig into it and see where this coolant is coming from. I've already removed a lot of the parts that were in the way so you can see, see this but where I'm shining the light you have a black plastic piece that the coolant hoses go into and this black plastic piece or housing is bolted against the cylinder head. Yeah, great idea. Bolt a piece of plastic against a cylinder head with coolant going through it. So let's look at what happens um, to this coolant outlet. Here I have one of my favorite tools. It's a coolant system pressure tester. You can use this little piston that attaches to the uh, filler neck of the radiator to uh, pressurize the coolant system. And let's see what happens when I do that. I've set this up so you can see what happens when I pressurize the cooling system using my pump. All right. Hope you can see that. It's coming right from the seal between the plastic housing and the cylinder head. This housing has four bolts holding it in. They have eight millimeter hex heads. Three of the bolts are mm, sort of um, not too hard to remove, but the fourth bolt is completely invisible from any angle and you just have to get to it using a small socket, eight millimeter, with a short extension and slip it under the top of the housing, the flat part of the housing, just like I'm showing you. And then you get it onto the head of the bolt by feel. And you'll know when you have it and you break it loose. So there's no way to see what you're doing with this bolt. So here is the water neck. Uh, you can see the four bolt holes, okay, and the one invisible bolt hole is inside the housing, okay, that you cannot see. It's this one right here. And uh, it has a temperature sensor attached that you must remove and put on the new housing. And uh, other than this, you can see it has uh, nipples on all sides to attach hoses. And uh, here is here is the rubber gasket, the failed rubber gasket that was leaking right here. This goes between this plastic housing and the aluminum cylinder head. And that's the cause of the leak. So we're going to go get a new housing from the parts store and put it back on. We've put it back together. It is now purring like a kitten and no more coolant leaks. Thank you for watching.